Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to All Access with Jess. I'm Jess. Now today we have a very, very, very interesting topic we're going to be discussing and joining me is a very beautiful lady who's going to, give you, to be giving us her personal story. Um, I was reading an article the other day that was talking about a fact that 21 million girls get pregnant every year and this is between the age of 15 to 19 and out of that number 12 million goes ahead to have children you can imagine the factors that are currently in the society and the taboo withholding uh, with regard to getting children at such a young age the things such as health issues the things such as um, social economic uh, challenges you know dropping out of school and so much more so joining me today is a beautiful lady who will be telling us her story so stay on board guys and welcome Colomb. How are you my dear? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine. I'm you're fine. good? You're ready yeah, to fine. give us your story? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Okay so maybe start by telling us a little bit about yourself. Okay I'm Mugisha Colomb. Yes. I'm a mother of one son, mm -hmm. one kid. Mm -hmm. I work in an agency, advertising agency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay that's a nice short Eh? Yeah, like a package it's over a there. <laughs> and you forgot to say that you are uh, dripping with melanin. I mean, guys, look at her skin tone. It's just drip, 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 drip. I mean, look at the. <laughs> Even I can, I can call myself a brown skin at this rate, but yeah, I love, I love Thank how you, you look. Yes. You look amazing. So today we're talking. We're here to talk about um, teenage pregnancies, uh, as I mentioned before. And maybe I will start by just asking you. Um, um, uh, about your child, how old were you when you got your child, and then we can kick it off from there. Yeah, I'm fine, fine with that. Mm -hmm. I got my child when I was 13. 13 wow. years. Wow. Yeah. 13. 13. Currently, how old are you? I'm, I'm turning 27 November this year. November? Yeah. So you are a uh, Scorpio? Yeah, yeah, I'm Scorpio. Hi, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, we have a Scorpio in the house. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Tell me what it was like, because one of the things people talk about with regard to having a child when you're a teenager is either it was sexual abuse or peer pressure. So with regard to your situation, what happened? Okay, for me it wasn't either sexual abuse or peer pressure. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. What should I say? It was. To me, I think... I had that lack of education to my parents because mm. I got pregnant one year ago. My dad died. I didn't grow up with my mom. Oh. I just grew up with aunties, a family. You know the situation you don't have parents. Yeah. Actually, in Africa, you stay with a family. Yes. So, I don't think that I got that education. Mm. You know, when you have a mom or a dad, they, yeah. they teach you that you have to do this and this and this. You know. Mm. So I think my. My family, where I grew up after my dad died, mm. they were busy with the family. Oh. So it was like, I left alone there. So it's almost like you were, you were left to figure it out by yourself. Yeah, by myself. And part of figuring it out was you ending up pregnant at the age of 13. How was that taken by your family? Not good. Not good at all. What was their biggest problem? The biggest problem, because I was still young, mm. I was still going to school, and I also, myself, I didn't know that I was pregnant. I just recognized that when the pregnancy was at four, four months. So wait, but I would assume, guys, you know, when you're pregnant, you know how you get those, um, what are they called, mood swings, and you know, those two things that happen. You didn't have any of that? I heard, but I didn't knew that if you get pregnant, oh, yes. the breast become bigger, Becomes bigger. you yeah. sleep. I didn't know. Oh, you used to sleep a lot? Yeah, I used to sleep a lot. And you're 13, so it almost looks like part of, you know, growing up. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you feel out you're pregnant? So, it's my auntie. Mm -hmm. I remember I was sleeping, then she told me that these days you're sleeping a lot, mm -hmm. and your breast, it's big now. Mm -hmm. And then she took me out of hospital, mm -hmm. before that I'm pregnant. What was your reaction at the age of 13? You barely know the world, and here you are. Actually, I didn't know. I was still young. I didn't know about pregnancy. I yeah. didn't know what should I do. Yeah. 
you know wh one thing i have to say is uh, i'm 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 trying to imagine uh th close to 14 years ago there, there has been this taboo in the african culture i think you know getting pregnant when you're, when you're young because either your family completely alienates you yeah. or if they'll take you it's like they will not accept the situation but maybe before we get to that tell me what led you to decide to raise your child or to keep the child and did you have any pressure by your family to somewhat not keep the pregnancy yeah, I had that pressure because they told me that after I vote, because mm. I'm still young, I still have life, mm -hmm. I have a lot of to do. I don't, I'm not ready to be a mom. Yeah. So to me, I had that heart of not abort. Mm. I was like, what happened if I abort maybe one at a time I want to get pregnant? Mm. Then I don't get pregnant. Mm. So I decided to keep it. And how was that taken by your family? They didn't like it because at that time they had it had a, it had a problem. They mm. told me that if you don't keep it, mm. you don't stay at home. You have to leave. So what did you do? I left. Wow. Age of 13, four months pregnant, and you left to where? <laughs> That's a good question. I left, I went to my... At that time, my dad's baby yeah he stayed at his mama house okay so I, w I went to his place so you went and stayed with the in-laws if, if we can call them that yeah and 13 again I'll, I'll just so that the audience can get a narrative of you know the situation so 13 four months pregnant now living with the in-laws and the baby daddy how was that for you it wasn't easy it was also hard because even then, they were like, is it true that it's our son who pregnant you? Wow. Wow. Or maybe you're like, you come for him just like, like a refugee. You don't know where to go. Okay. But the daddy was like, yeah, I'm the one who did this. Yeah. So she has to say. So maybe let's fast forward to you having the baby. Now, at 13 years old, obviously, you're young. Your body is probably tiny. Were you able to have a normal delivery or was it a, a, a C-section? Actually, it was normal. Even the way. doctors were surprised. Wow. I remember they asked uh, my, at that time my grandmother mm -hmm. came. Yeah. And then they asked her, is, is it a first baby or the second baby? Yeah. Because it's a first baby. Now let's fast forward to taking care of a baby when you're young. How was that like? Actually, it's hard when you don't have someone who supports you and understand you that you got that baby mm. and say things happen let me just support her mm. or maybe let me just help her mm. but i found myself that i'm alone mm. yeah yeah i was yeah. alone because at that time even the baby uh, the dad's baby yeah he went he never wanted to take the responsibility so you've given birth and then now you have to live with your baby yeah i had to live with my baby and what challenges would you summarize and say ABCD were the challenges I faced with being a young mother? Yeah, a young mother because I had to go back to school. Oh, yes. You know, I had to go back to school. I was still young. I can't go and look for a job so that I can provide yeah. milk or food for my baby. Yeah. So I had to go back home and I accept what I did and ask for forgiveness. Mm. Then go back to school, I study mm. so that I can get a diploma and then at the end I can go and knock somewhere and this is my diploma, give me a job so that I can get money to provide for my baby. Mm. So it wasn't easy because family, I don't know how I can explain, the family like you, not the baby. They oh. have that love of that you, okay. who, me, as Colom, not, as Colom, not, not Colom's baby. Yeah, Colom's baby. Wow. And why do you think that that, that was the reason? Um, why do you think they would have loved you but not your baby maybe because they looked at it as a mistake or actually i think it's they still have that pain in them they mm. they, are, they have not already accepted mm. for them they think the baby should go and stay with their dad oh and okay. yes they, they have like a kids their kids oh wow <laughs> they had some <laughs> quite some preference there um so before I ask you about advice to young girls who are thinking, you know, they would want to have a baby at a young age or how we think we can prevent it. Is there any bit of your story with having, a, you know, a teenage pregnancy that you feel you would like the audience to know before we proceed? 
Uh, to me, I think um, like getting pregnant at early age, 13, mm -hmm. it's hard. I wouldn't advise someone to get pregnant at that age. Because mm -hmm. actually, I think more well, maybe it was at that time when I was born, maybe. Today, kids are very, they know, we use internet, they know everything. Yes. But I think they should first get educated and know that to be ready to do that thing. Mm -hmm. How, are, you, are you able to raise a child? Yeah. And in case, you know, you're fighting against all odds, do you have that willpower yeah. to make it through? To make it through. Are yeah. you that person who is like a patient? Because it's, it's, it's required to be patient. Because mm. you can just wake up in the morning, you find the kids, he's sick. Yeah. Then you cannot, be, you, can, you don't know how to manage it. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, it's almost like saying by the time someone decides that that's the path they want to walk, they need to be sure. But obviously what Colombia is trying to say is, she is not advising anyone to think of having a child when they are teenagers because of the weight that is going to be on your shoulders. First, you've said educate yourself. Actually, I can add another thing. Mm -hmm. I may say that at, I deliver in a normal way. Yes. I think it's good. Because mm -hmm. even when you go to the hospital in your age, yeah. at that age, yeah. it's hard. Because most of the people they do uh, the cesarean. Yes. Yeah. So um, Columbus talked about um, education to young girls to understand um, what comes with having a child at a young age, and also the element of abstaining if you are young. At least you have until you have the full mental uh, capacity of understanding what it entails for you, and then you make a solid decision whether that's the path you want to walk. Obviously, if you're a young person, there are things such as self-esteem. Um, not self-esteem, peer pressure that can make you feel like you need to have a child when you are young. So maybe it's not a matter of getting trendy because it's not a trendy thing to have a baby, but a baby is a blessing, yes, and at the same time you have to be ready mentally to take care of it. Um, so maybe before we close off, Colomb, um, how do you think, uh, you know, if there's a girl out there who's watching this and she says, you know, I want to have a baby when I'm 15 for whatever reason, what advice would you have for them? Like, just in, a, in summary. 15. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise to get a baby at 15. Because yeah. you, don't, you don't have that knowledge yeah. of raising a baby. It's a baby raising a baby. Yeah, it's a baby if raising a baby. Raise. It, it was a baby raising a baby. I was trying to raise myself at the same time raising another baby. Yeah. I forgot to ask you something though. If you got pregnant at 13, at what age did you get your periods? At 9. You know, you're those girls you used to be jealous about. You know. Because me, when I was a kid, when I was young, I got my periods when I was 14, right? And when I saw young girls who had like their periods, I used to think, huh, something wrong with me? At some point, I started wearing pads mm -hmm. for fun. So I can, you know, when someone is in the bathroom, when you go to the bathroom, I want to so change my pad. I'm like, me too. I have my always pads with me. <laughs> so, Colombia, in summary, if, if, if we have a young lady out there who, for whatever reason, she got pregnant and... You know she's going to have this baby what advice do you have for her so that to be able to just deal with the path that's coming her way i would advise her to not focus on the society because society talks about mm -hmm. so they talk a lot that you see she got pregnant mm -hmm. she'll decide mm -hmm. are you going to manage mm -hmm. just first of all trust yourself mm -hmm. and say if i've decided mm -hmm. i can make it mm -hmm. and just appreciate yourself that i can do it yes and don't focus on the society. Yeah. So start from within and the ones outside will embrace you. Yeah. Wow. Okay, guys. Um, so it's been Colomb. It's been with Colomb. It's it has been all access with just with Colomb. I think the story was so heavy, it overwhelmed me. I mean, my emotions were running all over the place, to be very honest, because I'm imagining what a strong woman she is and even was when she was younger to be able to walk this path to the point that her child is now 14 years old yeah. and you're not and she's now 27 and she has fought against all odds and she has raised a beautiful young man and if you see the two of them together in a photo you'd actually think they're siblings yeah. because they're like most of the people think that he's my brother young brother <laughs> imagine and he also got the melanin dripping okay 
Anyway, if you're young, as Colomba said, and you've gotten yourself um, in that uh, situation, it doesn't mean that all is lost. You have a bright future ahead of you. Colomb went back to school, built her career, and now she's in advertising. And she just wanted to share her story so that if you're out there, you don't need to feel as though it's a hopeless case. Have hope, no fear, and everything's gonna be okay. Much love, all access with Jess. We'll be back next time with part two with Colomb. Bye.